Hi everyone, my name is Osmari Martinez Guzman. I am a postdoctoral researcher at the Natrio Sierra Mercado Lab in the University of Puerto Rico Medical Science Campus. And part of my work consists in study the effect of closed injury on fear and anxiety like behavior in rats. A concussions affect 4 million of people each year in the United States and often lead to fear-related disorders. A concussions occur when an impact to the head produces angular acceleration, which lead axonal damage. Rodents can be used to study concussive traumatic brain injury using the closed injury model. Effect of closer injury on fear and anxiety. In some cases, prior or shortly after to the injury. And maybe this can cause the conflicting results. Also, additional damage may occur weeks or months after the initial injury. So we hypothesize that closed injury will decrease fear memory and anxiety one month after the injury. And how we can assess the effect of closed injury on fear behavior. In our lab, we use the closed injury models in which we place the rat in a foam and with the aid of a tube, a 500 grams weight falls to the head of the rat. Here you can see the side of the impact. We use the Pavlovian fear conditioning to analyze the effect of the closed injury after learning the after fear learning. This consists in the first stage, that is the habituation stage in which the rats explore the box without any tone or shock. Then during conditioning stage, the fear learning one, a tone is paired with a shock. As you can see, when the rat is exposed to the shock, they um, jump and then freeze. And after, after a month, the tone is presented, but without the shock. And as you can see, the video is continuing play and the rats are freeze. And this lack of movements was used to determine the fear memory. Here you can see the results of the sham group in the open circle and the square for the experiment group. For the fear conditioning, the first five tones was presented without a shock. And then seven tones are presented or are paired with, a, with the shock. And as you can see for the conditioning stage, there is no significant difference between group. Then we perform the closed injury and wait a month. After a month, we perform the fear memory test uh, in which we present the tone without the shock. And as you can see, also there is no significant difference between group. So closed injury after one month does not affect the fear memory. Then we want to analyze the anxiety-like behavior and we use the elevated classmates. This behavior task was used to analyze the anxiety-like behavior because rats 
prefer to spend time in the enclosed arms compared to the open arms. So we calculate the time spent in the open arm in the sham and the experimental group and we didn't observe any significant difference between groups. Also, we calculate the anxiety index and we didn't ob observe any significant difference. So, closet injury does not affect the anxiety observed by similar amounts in the time spent in the open arms and the anxiety index in the EPM. So in conclusion, this level of closed injury following fear conditioning does not affect the fear memory after one month. Also, the disclosed injury does not impair anxiety-like behavior. For future experiment, we will examine brain tissues for changes in neuronal activities and also, we want to analyze if neuroinflammation is occurring in the brain in order to determine how, how close head injury contribute to the neurobiology of fear or anxiety-like behavior. Here are the reference for this study. And finally, I want to appreciate our funding agencies and also our lab team to make this project possible and if you have any questions i will be available at the live chat and thanks for your attention